In 2022, Antarctica experienced an exceptional heat event which broke records. The region recorded a new all-time high temperature of minus 9.4 degrees on March 18 near Concordia Station. Now researchers say they have uncovered the cause of the sudden heat wave. Joining me now is Australian Antarctic Division Senior Researcher Dana Bergstrom. Dana, thanks so much for joining us. This is very interesting indeed. Over 50 scientists from all over the world have been involved in this research. So what is the reason for this exceptional heat wave? Yes, it's, a, it's an exceptional story, and it does involve a hive mind, as you said, of 50-plus scientists, including the Australian Antarctic Division, the University of Wollongong and the University of Tasmania. And it's an interesting segue that you've just been looking at tropical cyclones in uh, Top End today because that's where the heat generated. So is taken this hive mind to, to pull it apart. And what we found was that heat poured in from the tropics into the Indian Ocean area. And then there were troughs being formed, um, pulsating off South Africa, and it all sort of mushed together. During the February, March time, there were 12 tropical storms and five of them turned into tropical cyclones and few of them joined together and then got picked up by a jet stream and took this hot warm moist air from the tropics and the subtropics all the way to Antarctica where it hit a blocking high pressure system um, got supercharged and took all this warm air into the heart of Antarctica where we had this heat wave with temperatures 30 to 40 degrees above normal but luckily it happened in March. Yeah, very interesting indeed. And again, taking around 54 scientists and 14 countries, why did it take so long and, and so many people? Or is that something that happens with these events? Scientists don't like surprises, and this was a big, a big surprise. But one of the really amazing things about the Antarctic Treaty is the free and fair exchange of scientific data. And so there was data coming from all over the place, and so much expertise went into two massive scientific papers to sort this out. And so what impact is this going to have on Antarctica and the planet? At the time, there was... Uh, because the temperatures happened in March and Antarctica was tipping into winter, there was not much melt. There was melt and rain along the coast, but there was deep, deep snowfall. And it was actually a little win for Antarctica because there was more snow than there was actually lost from uh, ice melting. And so there was a little bit of a, a mass positive balance. But at the same time, a little ice shelf collapsed um, which then had impact behind that. And it also contributed to uh, low sea ice, which then had a compounding effect this year when we've had the lowest sea ice ever. Uh, we think there's a return time of about every 100 years for this sort of thing, but with climate change, we don't know. So it may actually happen more often, and we're worried that these systems could happen in summer and not in, in autumn. And when you talk about the heat wave compared to other heat waves that you've seen in that area, was the temperature quite different and quite extreme compared to the last ones? Some scientists are calling this the most extreme heat wave ever recorded on the planet. Temperatures were up 30 to 40 degrees above normal. So if you think about summer temperature on, say, Brisbane at the moment, can you imagine 30 degrees and then going up to 60 degrees or 70 degrees? That's the sort of scale that we're talking about. Um, but we were deep into into autumn, so temperatures, as you said, got up to about minus nine degrees uh, deep in the continent at Concordia. On the coast, there was temperatures above zero. And did uh, you learn anything else, you and your fellow scientists, throughout this uh, experience? Oh, there's incredible detail to this work. That's what the 54 scientists have put yeah. together. Um, including the, the role of cloud covers. But once we've now understood this connection between the tropics and Antarctica, forewarned is forearmed. And so scientists can't do climate experiments. We can only recalculate what happened in the past and help us put it together. But now we understand this connection between the tropics and Antarctica. Usually we think of Antarctic weather from bringing cold fronts up, but here it was the reverse. But those those events can impact sea level rise for the rest of the, con or the, rest of the planet. Dana Bergstrom, thank you so much. Very interesting indeed and well done on all of the research that you and uh, the fellow scientists have done. Look forward to hearing more. Thanks very much.